We are taking Olive for a walk around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice weather. It's windy, so I really hope that it's not too windy for this video. It's pretty warm, but it's not too terribly hot. No, it's not bad. It's pretty nice out. So I, unfortunately, dropped and broke my laptop uh, this week. And the She's screen. Being nice, actually, I dropped it. No, you didn't. I set it on the table and it fell off. So it I was it. it was an accident. I'm the one who had it in a bag that it shouldn't have been in, but it it has a case on it. But it dropped from the table and went straight to the ground. I mean the floor, the floor, whatever. <laughs> and it cracked and took it today. We're filming this on Monday. It took it and they said that it was just the crack screen, of course, and that it uh, needed to be replaced. And they're going to do that for us, but. I don't know how long it will take and that has all my videos on it that I worked on for this week and I was a little bit kind of flipped out for a second and scrambling trying to figure out okay what kind of videos am I going to do since I don't have my computer so I got to film some music with Paul yesterday and then I thought we'll just take a walk and talk about the broke laptop and maybe show some yeah. of Olive and, uh, and share what we've been doing. So the biggest change with me, as maybe you have seen and noticed, is my hair. Um, I put up a post about that and I got some comments of people saying they liked my hair better before. <laughs> Thank you for those comments. Such nice comments. Really appreciate that. Uh, this is actually, believe it or not, how my hair really naturally would look. Uh, not that you're super interested in my hair. If you're, if you're uh, not, you can skip ahead. But... Uh, I have been getting perms since I was like 12 because I just have always liked curly hair. And the perms really lighten my hair. I don't get it dyed or anything, but it lightens it. And then I did get my hair dyed to be this brown. And uh, this is more like what my natural hair would look like. So, for everyone who was like, oh, you know, it's pretty, but it's not natural. This is actually more like what it would be. <laughs> and I like it. I think it's pretty and it's a change, so... Olive, do you like going on a walk? I do, but I like to pull Dad. Yeah. She'll pull pretty bad. Just let me loose. Olive. We're lucky that we can uh, walk up and down the road here because it's pretty residential and there's no worry about getting hit by a car or anything like that. Yeah, it's a pretty quiet little neighborhood. It is. It's a really nice place. We were blessed to find this house. Absolutely. Today, Mom and I picked mulberries, and that was really fun. There's a big mulberry tree in Miss Cindy's yard, and we got to pick those to make jelly out of. She'll be putting up a video uh, about that at some point, so you can check out her channel and be watching for that. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. It was really hot, and... Uh, there was a lot of the branches that I could reach to uh, shake to get the berries down on a sheet, but I also used a stick and then I was even able to climb a step ladder in it and that was a lot of fun. Uh, what else did I do today? Oh, spaghetti, we had spaghetti for dinner. Mm -hmm. and that was very good. That was really good. We made it yesterday and it's pretty good, pretty cheap and easy. And I actually found some gluten-free noodles that were surprisingly really good. And they were cheap. They weren't super expensive. Some of the, some of the gluten-free noodles were like really pricey, but these were not. So that was nice. And the garlic bread was probably my favorite bird boy. And comment below if anyone else uses hamburger buns to make garlic bread. Sometimes I buy the French bread, but usually I don't. And I like using the hamburger buns because if we eat hamburgers, we usually always end up having to throw out some of the buns or I take them back to mom and dad so they can feed them to the chickens. But it's nice to use them for garlic bread because you get to use them all and don't waste. And they taste really good. How was your day? It was good. Just got up, took care of the dog a little bit this morning, went and worked, and that was about it. Leads yeah. me to now. That's we nice. had supper a minute ago. Is that a car coming here. behind me? Yeah. Hey, that's a computer workshop. Oh. Speaking of broke laptops. <laughs> yeah. 
Speaking of broke laptops, what else have you had? Tell us about your uh, arrows that you were working on. Yeah, so I uh, built myself some new arrows. Uh, they are, for all you hunting nerds out there, they're gold tip velocities. They're a little bit different than the ones I have now. They're a little bit larger diameter, which I don't really know if I like yet or not. But they fly pretty good so far. So got them fleshed up the other night and should be ready to go. Just got to practice now. Cool. Got what? It's June. T minus three months. Oh, so we're counting down. A little down. over 90 days before. Counting down. Before it's time. Well, cool. That's right. When we get to the top of the road up here, there's this old chimney. And when it's green like this in the summer, you can barely see it. But it's really pretty. I wish I knew more on the story of uh, if it was an old home place. I'm sure it probably was, but I don't know anything about it really. I think these little flowers are so cute. There's some other flowers kind of here and there and some red clover in there that's pretty too and all those ferns. Those are nice. So here's that old chimney. You can just barely see it. Mother Nature is taking it over. But it's neat because the whole thing on the bottom here is rock. And then when you get to the top, there's just a little bit of brick. But I would love to know what that looked like on the other side when it was a fireplace in a house at some point. It's pretty cool that it's still standing. And I'm not sure, like if I got on in the woods there, there might even be a little bit left of the foundation, but it's not really my property, so I don't feel like it's good to do that. And uh, it's very weedy right now. I hear Olive whining. Oh, look at the sweet little girl. She's whining. She can see me and Austin's not letting her come up here because there's another dog. Another thing that I've been working on in the last day or two is researching about making tinctures. So I did that in the past, but it's been a long time and I'm trying to kind of brush up on my skills and it's really interesting. And for anyone who's watching who does not know what I mean when I say a tincture, it's just basically an herbal extract. So it's taking an herb and putting it in alcohol, grain alcohol, and that alcohol will absorb, take out the properties of that herb and then it's medicinal. So I've been researching about that and I've actually got two tinctures that I've got going right now. One is lemon balm and the other is purple dead nettle. The purple dead nettle is ready to put in the bottle and then I think the lemon balm needs a little bit longer, but that's been pretty fun for me. Comment below if anyone else makes tinctures too. What do you think, girl? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I know, you sweet girl. You sweet girl. Love you, baby. She is a very sweet girl. So, we're on a walk and this dog walks out of the brush right there with the ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, he went right in and we're like, hey, get out of there. You're gonna get snake bit and he comes out with a ham and cheese sandwich. He's a friendly pup, oh but God. not sure what to think about that. I had actually put my phone up and Austin's like, hey, do you have your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Is there peanut butter on that? Uh, that's a good question. I wanna see. Is there peanut butter on this ham and cheese sandwich? Was it PB good? and cheese? That's not peanut butter, that's something else. I don't know, what is that? Uh, I don't know, probably some kind of... Ketchup or something? Yeah, brown mustard, I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna take you bread, I swear. <laughs> See you, buddy. Bye. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. You having fun on the walk? Huh? You having fun? 
earlier this evening, I realized that Austin and I have never done a Q&A video together. So, I made a post this morning before I put up this video, and it just says Q&A, so feel free to comment some questions you would like us to answer on that post. You can also comment below on this video if you cannot find that post, but if you can find the post, like, I would really appreciate it if you leave the comments there because it's much easier for me to keep track of all the comments in one place instead of two places. I think that would be fun, though, for us to do a Q&A together. I can't believe we, we haven't done that, that I've never thought about that until now. Yeah, kind of kind of hard to believe we hadn't done that before. Yeah, I know. From an editing standpoint, those are, like, the easiest uh, to edit because <laughs> you're just answering questions. You don't have to come up with a topic and they're also just kind of fun because it's interesting to see what questions people have yeah the sky is very pretty this evening it is blue and sunny that little bird just sitting on the line I like that American flag. We need more of those. I'm still wanting to put one up at our house. Yeah, we want to get a flag up at our house at some point. That would be nice. I haven't made a point to do it yet. Yeah, we need to do that. I'd like to hang it. See that one? I'd like to hang it off the deck like that. Yeah. Sorry this video was short. <laughs> I hope that I'll have my laptop back soon. I'm very lucky that mom is letting me use hers so I can still put some videos out. I think Olive has enjoyed her walk. I know that I have definitely enjoyed walking. Walking is like one of my favorite things, and especially in the evening when it's not too hot and after eating that big old plate of spaghetti, it's nice to walk some of that off for sure. Mm -hmm. So definitely drop comments on the community post uh, for Austin and I, if you have questions that you'd like to see us answer, if you can't find the community post, you can put them in this video below. Thank you for watching. God bless and keep you, and I will see you at the next video. Good dogs. <laughs>